Hey, how's it going all? Just back in with another sequence video. Uh, this was in Jubilees uh, chapter 10, starting in verse 3. And he prayed before the Lord his God and said, God of all the, of the spirits of all flesh, who have shown mercy unto me and have saved me and my sons from the waters of the flood. So in the last days, this is salvation prior to wrath. But, um, you know, it's uh, that always begins the sequence. Now, verse 10. Now there's going to be a time of great tribulation and it's going to involve fraudulent medicines. And so we know what's going on right now. And one of us, uh, he commanded that we should teach Noah all their, all their medicines, for he knew that they would not walk in uprightness, nor strive in righteousness. Verse 11, and we did according to all his words, all the malignant evil ones we bound in the place of condemnation, and a tenth part of them we left that they might be subject before Satan on the earth. Okay. And we explained to Noah all the medicines of their diseases together with their seductions. Okay. And so, you know, we have verses talking about sorcery, um, you know, pharmacia you know, which is one of the ways that, um, you know, that they've, they've deceived the entire earth, Mystery Babylon, America, uh, together with their seductions, how he might heal them with the herbs of the earth, which is what God's people actually do. Verse 13, and Noah wrote down all things in a book as we instructed him concerning every kind of medicine. Thus the evil spirits precluded from hurting the sons of Noah. And he gave all that he had written to Shem, the eld his eldest son, for he loved him exceedingly above all of his sons. And so this is the time of the great tribulation. And then it's going to involve, like it says here, medicines and seductions. Okay. Now, uh, more about the great tribulation. Verse 18, 666. Okay. And in the three and 30th Jubilee, 33rd Jubilee, in the first year and the second week, Peleg took to himself a wife whose name was Lomna and the, uh, the daughter of Sinar. And she bore him a son in the fourth year of his week. And he called his name Ru. Uh, for he said, Behold, the children of men have become uh, evil through the wicked purpose of building for themselves a city and a tower in the land of Shinar. And so this is a, a tremendous amount of evil. And this is the quote unquote one world government that, um, you know, we're going to read about here. Verse 22, And the Lord our God said unto us, Behold, they are one people. And this they begin to do. And now nothing will, will be withheld from them. Go to, let us go down and confound their language that they might not understand one another's speech. And they may be dispersed into cities and nations, and one purpose will no longer abide with them, listen to this, until the day of judgment. So it's prophesying another one world order in the last days, which we see right now. And the Lord descended, and we descended with him to see the city and the tower which the children of men had built. Listen to this. And the Lord descended, and we descended with him. Who's we? It's his elect. To see the city and the tower which the children of men had built. And he confounded their language, and they no longer understood one another's speech, and they ceased then to build the city and the tower. For this reason, the whole land of Shinar is called Babel, because the Lord did there confound all the language of their children and men. And from there they were dispersed into their cities, and according to his language and his nation, listen to this, and the Lord sent a mighty wind against the tower and overthrew it upon the earth. And behold, it was between Asher and Babylon in the land of Shinar, and they called its name Overthrow. So this is the battle in the Middle East. This is referencing ba uh, Babylon, you know, in the Middle East, between Asher and Babylon. So this is Christ returning with his elect to destroy, you know, this quote-unquote one world government, God's left-hand side. Now we're going to get a reference to the kingdom. And Canaan saw the land of Lebanon to the river of Egypt, that it was very good. And he went not into the land of his inheritance to the west, that is, to the sea. And he dwelt in the land of Lebanon. Lebanon. So um, the land of the inheritance. So there's a reference to the kingdom. It's coded, but... This is amazing. So Jubilees 10 starts off with salvation, then a time of, you know, medicines and seductions and evil. And then a time of, um, you know, the children of men have become evil through the wicked purpose, you know, this one world order. And then it, I just find it amazing in verse 22, it says, um, and they may be dispersed into cities and nations and one purpose will no longer abide with them until the day of judgment. So he's, there, there's going to be another, um, you know, uh, one purpose, you know, in the last days. And so that's prophesied here in Jubilees. And then it says, and the Lord descended and we descended with him, which is his elect. And then we have a reference to the kingdom. So Jubilees 10 um, has a sequence as well. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye.